Hello, and this presentation is going to be on uh, trying to extrude a lateral incisor with Invisalign and how working through some uh, checkpoints during a clean check, you can maybe catch a problem before it arises. You can see with this individual, he has uh, a liner number 11 out of 23 in, and everything is fitting fine except for when you look at number 7. You can tell, tell that that tooth is not completely seated inside the tray, uh, but number 10, the opposite side, that one's fitting just fine along with all the other teeth. If we take a look at the ClinCheck, you can see as we progress through the movie that um, the movement of number 7 is to pull it downward or to extrude the tooth. And I have found over the years trying to extrude any teeth in Invisalign, specifically upper laterals, uh, that's a very challenging move and sometimes it doesn't play out clinically as well as we would like. You can see in this side-by-side -side photo the beginning uh, set of teeth and then the the end of the treatment if he were to go through all 23 trays that's where he would wind up and if we do a comparison if we turn the models and put the grid feature on you can see that the tooth on the right tooth number seven is smaller than tooth number ten and actually if you measure out the number of squares uh, tall by wide we'll call each square a unit uh, number seven is 14 units tall compared to number ten which is 17 units tall um, and then the width is very similar, just off by about a half of a unit uh, when, you, when you measure it out. So really this tooth, if you look at it in real life without the, without the images, they're just the real tooth without the trays in. They do have attachments on them, but just looking at the size of that tooth, you can definitely tell that number 7 is shorter than number 10. So then the question is, well, if you pull number 7 down, get the incisal edge right, well, I believe that the gum tissue would come along with that. And so would you then instead laser the gum tissue back, which at that point you may reveal part of the, the root, or should you just leave the gum line up where it is and instead add porcelain or composite at the end? And if you can see, when we get to the end, if I were to draw a horizontal line across the uh, gingival part of that setup, you can definitely see now the difference or the discrepancy of the gingival height of number 7 versus number 10. And so at this point, at like I said, trade number 11, this is where the position of those teeth currently are. And what we're going to do is progressing forward, we're just going to let them continue to wear the trays. And number uh, 7, I actually hope, doesn't move apically, or I'm sorry, doesn't move uh, incisively any further. Uh, keep its position where it's at. And then when we get to the end, we'll just simply put a veneer on top of that tooth. Uh, it would have been nice to have caught that at the very beginning when we are going through our clean check to see the size difference, but it could also have led to a different uh, setup with our with our clean check to get the trays to keep that tooth intentionally in place so we could later fix it restoratively to balance out the smile. So yeah, hopefully that helps and um, look forward to seeing your, your comments below. All right, thanks.